Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I realized that I've had this palette sitting on my vanity for way too long and I haven't actually touched it yet. So I decided I would go ahead and play in this today. It's the Morphe 24G. I didn't get you swatches because everybody else already has. I know this has been out for a while. Everybody has reviewed it, but I just wanted to do a little quick natural you can wear it to work kind of glam with this palette. And I went ahead and added a bright lippy because, you know, Crepe Vines came out with new colors, so they're going to be in every video. Sorry, guys. But about this palette, it's got 24 colors, and it's got kind of a pink vibe to it. And these pans are massive. Uh, they are very pigmented, easy to blend, overall great quality so far. I am really liking it. Didn't have any issues, but today we are just going to do a quick voiceover tutorial. I'll talk to you a teeny bit at the end, and that's going to be it, just so you guys can see how this palette performed, see how I made this look, and be on your way. So I hope y'all enjoy, and straight into the tutorial. Okay, so first we're going to go into this tan transition shade, <clears throat> and I'm just going to take this on a fluffier brush and just put it all over the lid to set the eyeshadow primer. Then we are going to take this more orangey shade <clears throat> and we are just going to take that on that fluffy brush and blend it all into the crease pretty high up just to get that first layer of color really set down. Then we're going to take this brown and I'm going to take that on a smaller natural hair brush and put that in the outer corner just to deepen up the crease and get a good bit of dimension going. Then after that we're going to take this shimmery pink shade just on our finger because let's be real that's easier and just lay it down all over the lid and it is gorgeous. Then we're going to take this bright pink and on a small brush just line the lower lash line with that pink color. I was curious about it but I didn't want it to be the main focus of the look. Then I'm going to take this really light shimmer shade here and I'm just going to use that with a small pencil brush. I'm going to hit the inner corners and the brow bone <clears throat> just to add a flare and a little bit of a pop to that look because I mean you got to have some good highlight with any look super important. Then I decided to take my M501 and use this same shade as a highlighter and figured out that it actually is a pretty dang good blinding highlight. So that definitely means that this palette is very versatile and since the pans are huge you can use it for highlight and it'll still last forever. But that is it for the look. Okay guys, so that is it for this look. This palette is definitely up to Morphe's usual standard. I'm so excited about it. It turned out so cute. And this lippy is so gorgeous and it feels perfect on my lips. So that is it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see you in a couple of days. Bye you guys.